her text was pray a lot for us they are here who was in your home back then all my family members my parents and my siblings five when i saw the parts of the house that's been attacked by missiles um like okay so someone might be there so people might not find the body and when i saw that the tanks bulldozed the area i'm like okay there's also a possibility that they crushed my family under the tanks well hala i don't know what to say i don't know how to respond but where do you think the four missing are do you think they could be kidnapped by the israelis they told me that it's a body for someone who has been executed i told them that i lost 21 members of my family my father my brothers and sisters nieces and nephews and everyone was heartbroken but some part of me uh, i would always remember your story and i would tell them that what happened to me is nothing compared to other palestinians for 45 days 45 days yeah you've been trying to reach to your family and you couldn't yeah i've so no calls no information no calls no texts no one can get to the area no one knows about them no one sees them and this is one of the most heartbreaking stories i've ever heard in my life everyone you love is a piece of your soul if they leave they leave this they leave this space empty so okay you can survive you can live your life you can go on you can move toward what you want and what toward your plans but you'll never be the same person as you were before the before you lost and especially if it's like all your family yeah. so i decided to to give these wounds voice a voice i decided to get out of the bubble tell the story they did nothing wrong is is it like is their fault to to live in gaza or to stay in gaza or to to work hard to help the Palestinian community their community for me i don't find a reason for all of this and i don't find a reason for not calling for a ceasefire yes we have witnessed a genocide in palestine we have dealt with monsters palestine but there's a lot of good people in this universe there's a lot of good people who will want to take care of you who will want to support you who will want to be by your side and I am imagine like I'm, I'm your brother I, I swear Thank you. 